I can watch and study. <laughs> so, I'm going to go for number three, very traditional yep. London Dry. 60ml of gin. Ten ml of our house blend vermouth, okay. which is equal parts of Martini Extra Dry and Cokie Americano. Do you stick to this recipe all the time, or do you, do you tweak it? Well, it depends. I mean, martinis are a very personal thing, mm -hmm. so it depends what the guest likes. And by and large, we find our guests will tell us how they like their martini. Mm. But ah, uh, so our just keep trying until I find something I really. Well, this is the thing. I mean, you get lots of folks asking for a martini with no vermouth or extra dry, but I personally believe a martini is about gin and vermouth together. Six parts to one is a great ratio. Um, you know, Americans are the ones who tend to ask for it with no vermouth. But for many, many, many okay. years, but for many, many years, vermouth was badly treated. You know, it, it should be treated like a wine. It should be kept fresh in the fridge. It should be drank within a couple of months of being opened. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. an issue. We go through it so fast. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason people started asking for martinis with no vermouth is lots of bars had badly kept vermouth and it put a nasty Twist flavor on it, in yeah. the drink. That's never going to happen with the Royal Martinis. <laughs> I always say, when guests ask no vermouth, I say, can I make you one with vermouth? If you don't like it, I'll happily replace it. And very, very frequently. They say, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, in fact, only once had a gentleman send it back and said, no, really? that's too much okay. for me to make it without. Twist. Style. Wonderful. Perfect. Sipping champagne, as always. So this is our rules sidecar. Rules? Sidecar. Sidecar, okay. Sidecar. A traditional sidecar is cognac, Cointreau and lemon juice. The rules sidecar is lemon juice, cognac, elderflower liqueur and a touch of champagne syrup. Mm. Right. So. Thank you. Nice and refreshing. I think after a rich meal, this is going to go down a treat. Thank you. You didn't need me to try it. Taste it. You can never recreate it. Oh, fresh fruit. fruit. Yeah, we have one. So the idea in this, this is a very sweet liqueur. Extremely, so yeah. The tartness of the grapefruit juice balances out the sweetness of the liqueur. The little measure of vodka raises the proof of the drink. 
from the backbone, and then the Aperol bring some citrusy notes that work nicely with both the elderflower and the grapefruit, and it gives the drink a beautiful colour. Wonderful. And then, very simply, fill the glass with fresh ice. Make sure everything is incorporated. All right. Ah. A little snow cap. Grapefruit wedge. Thank you very much. Perfect. All of that. There you go.